Well, this is definitely one of the Turkey-Syria maps that everyone needs to see here. They need to realize what Turkey's doing, what they're positioning to do. And as I have discussed before, it really does look like Turkey is preparing to invade Syria. Now, we've had Bashir al-Assad himself state this past week that he feels Turkey is about to invade Syria with the backing of Saudi Arabia and other allies. Now, this was talked about, you know, years and years ago. It seems like Syria was something they wanted to have accomplished uh, at this point by now. And it looks like since it's it hasn't gone the way that they wanted, they're ramping up to go in and, and do this just full steam ahead. You can see here the U.S. urging Turkey to stop shelling the Kurdish and Syrian forces. But if they really cared at this point, something would have been done a long time ago. We have Putin holding this phone call with Obama to urge better defensive cooperation against these militants. Get out of here. This is the world stage theater. And we've talked about it time and time again. We've talked about Damascus being surrounded, how they want the fall of Damascus. Does not have a Rothschild-operated bank inside of it. Um, this, this is... This is a place that uh, these countries have wanted to see the downfall of for quite some time. Now, in terms of Saudi Arabia and Turkey, one of the main reasons here that they want to see Assad fall is because they want to run their own pipelines through this area. They're not all talking about it right now at the moment because shells are flying and their militaries are on the move. Now, what's not being talked about right now is... The fact that multiple countries want this pipeline or multiple pipelines ran through the region and it has everything to do with Syria. Uh, they're having to go around Syria. They basically want to go through Syria and crisscross some of these, pro these pipelines and projects uh, to their advantage. Now, if this happens, Russia will lose out greatly. They are the ones that are supplying these pipelines cutting through the region. Okay. That is why this is such a critical spot for Russia. If Syria falls, so too does the pipelines that Russia has running through here because they will surely sabotage them, destroy them in this war front, and they will run their own pipeline. I've talked about it several times. This is at the top of their agenda in what they want to do as soon as Damascus falls. And we've talked about this puppet show with, with the militants out here left and right from Iraq into Syria and how it's all even been possible to begin with. They launched from Turkey to begin with. Okay, it, this is clearly Turkey against Syria at this point. And if they make a move, I would suspect you will see Russia step in big time. Um, I've said it before, there's been talk of old Constantinople, we have the capital of Turkey, being invaded by Russian troops before it's all said and done. Different prophecies speaking on that. Will it happen? It's all yet to be seen, but one thing's for sure, they're ramping up, the war drums beating louder, and Turkey really hasn't held back in any of their moves. When, when, they, when they go to mobilize, they usually make the moves. And they're just blatantly coming out and saying, we're about to do this. So we're going to have to sit back and see how far they take it. If they, if they start pounding the border, advancing across the border, how far will they make it? Will they advance all the way down halfway into Syria? Assad here recently said that they were going to launch a counter to all this to where they wanted to reclaim all of Syria. And the only way Assad's going to do that is with a massive show of force from Russia and maybe even other allies but that's where it sits right now this could really take a huge shift at any given moment all they got to do is give the give the orders and cross that border and it goes to a whole new war front you're not talking about bombing these ISIL militants out here in in all the shenanigans with all all that crap no you're talking about a whole other, another country here invading into their neighboring country of, of Syria 
and that changes the game dramatically. So, I'll leave a link, multiple links here, continue to keep you guys updated with more information as I come across it. But uh, there's links here too that tie back into Germany here and what just happened in Germany, what John Kerry saying, the rise of China here on the world stage. The position that Europe itself is in, they're, they're liking it to World War II. And at this point, you can see here that John Kerry continues to state that uh, he wants to see a strong UK and that they may potentially drop out of where they sit now over in Europe. And he continues to warn Russia that uh, they need to stop propping up Bashir al-Assad and that it's ultimately going to fail for them. And they go on and on and on with a lot of these statements that were made here in Munich. Once again, I'll keep you guys posted as I come across more. I'll leave links in the description box. This has been Dabu7.